drop, gonna drop. So, and I'll tell you right now, God bless the dead, if Pong would have been alive, if that would have happened to Cuban when Pong was alive, there wouldn't have been no Pong and Joe. There wouldn't have been no Pong and Joe because there wouldn't have been no sides taken. He just would have been, Pong would have fucking, he, Pong, they, it would have been a rap. It would have been a rap, man. Straight up, a rap. Um, but, you know, and I don't, and maybe it wouldn't even happen if Pum was alive. Maybe the whole fucking argument, the whole, the whole amped up and everything that started the whole fight wouldn't have happened if Pum was alive. It wouldn't have happened. Um, probably it would have been mediated greatly that, like, you know, it wouldn't have been to that. The whole Liza thing, nothing would have happened. You know what I'm saying? When Pum passed. Let me ask you that then, because like, that was one of my questions. Right, so Joe has fallen out with so many people over the years, Cuban, Charlie, T.A., Macho. Do you think if Pun was still alive that everyone would still be together? Or I don't know about all these other dudes. I'm so, With Cuban, I know with Cuban it would have been different. With, with my, I know Macho from the block, you know what I'm saying, where Macho used to um, um, sell fucking coats to us and jackets and shit from Jew Man. You know what I'm saying? That's how back it goes, you know what I mean? Um, but do um, you think um, that terror squad would still be together or like it would be the cube what the group yeah as a group do you think that everyone <clears throat> would be together i don't know i don't know honestly i don't know probably not i don't think so but i don't think it would have been the big drama beef and all that shit that's been going on you know what I'm saying but i think everybody would have went probably would have went their separate ways you know because i you know joe joe felt some type of way with with with, with the dude with the cat with all the artists you know what i'm saying with the other artists I mean, it was, I think, I think different with Armageddon because Armageddon is from the block too. Armageddon, I, you know, I knew Armageddon way before the whole fucking they did anything. You know, Armageddon from the block. But Arm Armageddon is one of the best lyricists I've ever heard in my life. And he's always been like that. He's always been like that. Um, and, and Joe used to always show him love on that part, that end, with the, on the music lyrically tip. Uh, but um, as for everybody else, I don't think it would have been a prop. I don't. I don't think it would have been good. It would have been good, but they had a good. Uh, you know, you got prospect. Of these, these kids are talented, very lyrical kids. You know what I'm saying? Very talented. Uh, but you know, speaking wise, after the fact, I could say, but during the fact, I really can't say nothing because I wasn't really. I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't there. But no matter what would have happened, you would think that Cuban and Pun would be together? Like absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, got you. Absolutely. Million, a million, million percent. People try to run with the narrative that, oh, Pun could possibly be with Joe and Cuban could be off by himself if he was alive. That would have never happened. It would have, from, listen, from my understanding, from what I've seen, I've seen, I seen papers, I've, I've, seen, got, I've seen receipts, seen the bender with the talks, they've been there. What I've seen, Joe, what I seen, Pum was on his way out. Not separating like that from Joe, like that, but he was on his way to do his own thing. That was already in the works. Well, because he had foundation records that he was uh, working on. Not, not only that, I'm not going to speak on that because it's something else popping, uh, but I know from, from what I know, there was something else. Joe, Pum was... From what I know, from what, what I know, Pum was in the process of doing his thing, getting ready to do his thing. You know what I'm saying? Getting ready to do his thing. But it wasn't so, you know, any beef. It was just going to be separation. No, it wasn't no beef at all, but it was just a business-wise, something was something was popping. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, it wouldn't have not beef or nothing like that. Um, Joe, would have, Joe more than definitely would have still had shit to do with it, but it was um, something else going on. So you talking in code, you're confusing me a little bit, but I understand you can't really speak on it. Yeah, I can't say shit. I can't really, I'm not going to talk, I'm not really going to talk on that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, when, when shit is past tense, it's past tense. Right. You know what I mean? You know, Pun's been dead many, many years. I'm not going to talk, you know, talk on that. I know, I know things that, that, that should happen, you know, that happen. I'm in the scene, I'm spinning that scene, don't know what it is. You know what I mean? But um, I just don't get into the bochincha like that. I'm not going to start a whole fucking new thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, shit. Nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, just a, a lot of a lot of truth came out. Um, and the reason I say a lot of truth is because it's there. You feel what I'm saying? It's a black and white. You can't cover it. You can't lie about it. You can't you can't do nothing. It's there. It's already proven facts. You know, when I throw shots at people, oh, oh nah, you know, it's none of my business. You feel what I'm saying? I just got love for the people that I love. You know what I'm saying? I respect. You know, I love Liza. I respect Liza. Love Chris. Um, love the family. You know what I'm saying? I, I bring Chris out here to Florida to do my birthday bash a couple of years ago with Tony Touch and everybody. It was bananas. Uh, by the way, it was sold out. By the way, I used to do a lot of promotions, and I also owned the club out here on the down low in Florida. I was in the mix with every fucking thing. Man, shout out man. to Chris, man. Chris, the, um, another one of the most talented individuals um, in the planet. I, 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 I really, really, really wish and I'll always pray for dude that he gets his opportunity, right? The right opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not only because he's 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 Chris' son, but because he's so fucking talented. He's nice. Bro. He could carry. He carries his own weight. Yeah. He carries his own weight. You know what I'm saying? And um, I don't think he needs that. You know, he just needs that right that right thing. 